Sean McCartney, <laughs> who do you see at the starting slot receiver spot? Scotty Miller uh, or I Roman Wilson? Khalil Shakur. Oh, oh, you mean? I'm, I'm oh, sorry. Man. I was mixing my team. You know, Moats is on one today. I'm, I, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you meant Curtis Sam. I'm, I, bro, my bad. Ah. Were you boozing it up on the golf course? Bro, I, that, that could have been it. You know what happens, bro. You know you, the cart people come by. Anybody you just want another one? Yeah, my bad. My bad. That's what I thought he was talking about, though. But, uh, anywho, starting in the slot. Roman so, Wilson. Yeah. Well, it's going to be interesting, though. I think Roman definitely ends up being the guy by uh, the end of the year for certain. And I think he has a dope opportunity just off of what I saw at the OTA stuff that, you know, he definitely – can beat him out but at the same time let's not just minimize scotty miller scotty miller has had success in this league scotty miller has played in this league and he was in the postseason if i remember correctly made plays in that postseason right now he had brady as his quarterback but if i remember correctly yeah, yeah. he made some plays i know he had plays yeah, in he the made regular some plays. season at least then they brought a b to be their third receiver so i don't and know how AB much really took off right yeah AB i don't know how much work miller yeah. was getting like second half of the season and into the playoffs yeah. but i i think you're but right miller he made, made plays, a though. catcher too yeah. in the postseason that ended up coming up clutch yeah and he had the, i remember he was like the fast dude too man pulling i want to say he probably had like a third down conversion or yeah. so 2020 because that was the year they uh they won it he had, uh, he had like 500 yards yeah right? 500 yards three catch or three touchdowns excuse me on that yeah 500 yards three touchdowns off of what 33 catches off of 53 targets average 15.2 yards per catch that's down the grass or at least that's a lot of run after and then the year prior to that in 2019 only had 200 yards but he also was a 15.4 yards per average reception type of dude similar to in that final year in atlanta now the numbers were definitely low last year but he still was averaging 14.6 per reception so we know he's either catching that thing and getting off or he's at least taking you down the grass but that's what I remember them in Tampa. So that's the part where I'm looking at Roman, and I'm just saying, this is a guy that we've seen now at two different stops, but on multiple seasons, show at least something at this level. So that's the part where it's like, all right, for Roman, this isn't competition that you can't beat or that you should be afraid of, but I do think it is competition that Roman, not just athletically, but mentally, he's going to have to be locked in as well. And we know with Arthur Smith's system, the reports that have come out about how those receivers at times, the quarterback and receiver have to be on the same page and the versatility of some of that stuff. So that's the part where I'm trying to say, you know, what Roman going to do with it, man? But Scotty is already familiar with the scheme. So our memories... Our serving is pretty decent, going back to that 2022 or 2020 2020 season. Bucks playoff run. He had two catches against Green Bay in the NFC Championship, 36 yards and a touchdown. That's what it was. He had one catch for 29 yards against New Orleans in the divisional the week before, and had a catch for 15 yards in the wild card game against Washington. Yeah, nothing in the Super Bowl. He had a rush for negative three yards. Yeah. A.B. was cooking in the Super Bowl. A.B. got the tighties and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Him, yeah Gronk, I think Gronk, Gronk had two. Gronk, right, yeah. A.B. had two. Or A.B. Because A.B. had the catch. first one, didn't he? Gronk had two. Yeah, A.B. had the first one for the touchdown. And then Gronk, the other ones, yeah. So that's the thing where I'm just like, for Scotty Miller, I think that he has to like his opportunity to compete with a rookie, even though it's a high pedigree rookie, it's still a rookie. And then for Roman Wilson, I think that you know exactly what your type of competition is. Because to me, Calvin Austin, Quez Watkins, they're still more specialty at this stage. But I do feel like with Scotty and um, you, I don't want to put Van in here because I still feel like Van is a almost like a different variation. He said he could get a thousand dudes. yards for us. I mean, everybody talking spicy right now. I like it, bro. I ain't tripping. I, I am not tripping. I just like everybody's talking spicy out the camp right now, bro. Everybody nice. That's how they talking. CJ Stroud's talking a lot recently. You see that? I did not. No, no, no. I missed this one. What did he say? Not as much about himself. He's just got some hot takes out there saying that I Stafford should in... have his, uh, way more Super Bowls if he was Green Bay's quarterback instead of Aaron Rodgers. He was like he'd have like three oh, or four Super Bowls. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. He's just he, he's got some hot takes. It, it's when I, I think it's whenever I you get him and pa- Parsons, Parsons together, they just yeah. they just start spewing some stuff. Because anytime I'm seeing him <laughs> pop up, it's because of him talking with Parsons, and he'll say spicy stuff then. But yeah, all right, Pete Gain, I Pete Gain. I think Roman Wilson has the better talent and just you know the overall oh, yeah. better game when it comes to fruition mm-hmm. 
Whereas Scotty Miller, he's got the familiarity with the system and just the familiarity with being in the league. So I think the Scotty Miller signing, there was nothing wrong with it at the time. But Roman Wilson should beat him out. I'd be disappointed if he doesn't. So I just think of it kind of like this. I think we're going to get the same result in the end, it being Roman Wilson. I just wonder how you feel about the timeline. Because to me... I can see this timeline being similar to JPJ. That first month, you're sprinkled in, you're getting opportunities, but we're also learning you. We're also seeing how you adapt to this level when the bullets really start flying. And can you think Hmm. and still take what we're communicating pre-snap, post-snap to the field and execute it? No, that wouldn't be the end of the world. Yeah. Cause that's the Who do you think's getting the time though? Is it Scotty Miller or is it one of these other? I think it's receivers? the combination. I don't think they have a solid like yo. This, I think the depth chart says one, but I do think we will see more packagey stuff early on to kind of figure out who's going to emerge because outside and of Roman GP, Wilson might even be part of that. Yeah, that's stuff. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Like outside of GP, I don't think any of these guys are just surefire. Write them in pen. Uh, write them in pen. They're gonna get the targets. It's like no. I think the first couple of games we're gonna be trying to figure out even still, regardless of preseason, because how many reps, how many quarters is Russ playing? How many quarters is Phil's playing? How many times they're gonna get the same group, this offensive line with the same receivers? So I feel like you're still gonna be learning this team in those first four games, but whichever of those other receivers emerge and shows a little bit more consistency, whether that is Roman, whether that is Van, whether that is somebody we might trade for, or is it Scotty Miller, or is it Quez Watkins, right? Any of those guys that might, Denzel Mims, right? You brought him up before, right? Any of these type of guys, if they show a little bit more consistency, I think they can carve out a role. Very similar to when we would see Miles Boinkin at time be on the field. Remember when we see Miles, we're like, yo, how's Miles keep getting out there? But he could do certain things that the team like. We would look at um Blocking. And the team, but we needed it, right? Yeah. And they liked Deontay it. Deontay and Pickens weren't. Right. So then we saw that. Then we saw last year with Allen Robinson, right? It was like, yo, Allen Robinson was a lot. He's on a lot. He's a lot. But, yo, it was what? It was the blocking. He could do that thing, and that's kind of what they like. So I just think early on, we're going to be trying to see, all right, who is going to emerge of those other guys? Because GP is going to be out there. He's going to get his. He's going to be the main dude. But unless we trade for something or make a move, I think they let them figure that thing out in the first couple of games. Now, Spice Creations brings up a good point here that Shout we did Spice. put Pickens out there like that early mm-hmm. in his rookie season. Yeah. Uh, so, well, I think if Roman Wilson keeps playing this offseason mm-hmm. like he did in the OTAs or how a lot yeah. of you guys have been seeing him down there yeah. and is like guns blazing in training camp, balling out mm-hmm. in preseason, then maybe he does just have that role right off the bat week one because I feel like Pickens was the same way his rookie offseason. Let me, I would just preface this. To me, the big difference between Pickens and Roman Wilson is Pickens is a, you physically watch him. He is bigger than most people. He can jump higher than a lot of these dudes. He's faster than a lot of these dudes. And prior to him being hurt going into his final year at Georgia, he would have been a first-round draft pick. Let's not forget that. When I look at Roman, we talked about Roman, but this is kind of like Roman getting drafted, I don't want to say higher, but he was second, third-round combo. GP could have went first round. I thought he was going to go second. He, right. he slipped to us. We got him in. You see what third. I'm saying? Our, it was our first third round pick, middle right. third. Yeah, yeah. GP, though. GP. Healthy GP. You see what he's capable of. We don't talk about GP and we say that we think he can be a great wide receiver, too. We don't say we think GP could be a great slot receiver. We say, yo, GP might mess around and be one of these $35 million receivers. That's how we look at George Pickens. That's the type of potential. That's the type of you know, attributes that he walked onto the field with. And as soon as you saw it in OTAs and in training camp, that's what that was. And that's why it wasn't a debate about can he start? Is he going to play? You saw the catches that he was making. It was like, bro, this is a rookie doing that. Nah, that's a different, different. I just think with Roman, it's uh, appreciation of the detail of his work. It's appreciation of seeing the flash and how he's lightning quick. And we like that. But there is going to be a different element that we don't know how that's going to look just yet. And that's going to be in late trope when they put those pads on. When he has to actually get off of that press. When it is a more physical dude than he would have seen at Wisconsin or Ohio State, Penn State, right? That's the convo. GP was showing that training camp. It ain't think about Everybody was seeing how this is GP, right? Well, yeah, that's what I'm it saying. It ain't if he, if he at all. keeps yeah. up how he's being talked about right now yeah. at OTAs, because he's been he's been talked about very highly. Yes, but I get it. It's a I'm whole just, different dynamic. I, but no, 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 I'm just saying, even in how we talk about Roman Wilson, forgive me if I came off and making it sound like Roman Wilson was on the Jeep. It's like, 
bro, GP look freaky. Roman looks dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, they both are balling, but it was like, it just was different with GP. That's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like it wasn't as much, yo, can he do it? Can he not do it? I just think for Roman, he's going to have a legit fight in that position with those dudes we're naming. Whereas for GP during that time, who was his fight? I don't even remember. It, well, it, we actually had decent receivers at the time mm-hmm. on the outside. It was Claypool and mm-hmm. Deontay. Yeah. So that's how, yeah, you're right. That's, yeah. That was just Pekins, though, being Pekins and doing his thing. And this is Claypool Young, right? Claypool still was high. But yeah, like, going, yeah, this going into dude three, we were, we were is just from Claypool. different. Yeah. Like, what he I was think that's showing, when he said his whole top three yeah, comment. Yeah, absolutely. But it was just different watching GP. That's all. So that's my whole thing with that, man. But I would love for Roman to build up and do that. But I just think it's going to be a, a a little bit different journey for him in comparison to GP, and man. What, yeah, and which is fine because we don't. I, we would love to have another GP on the team, but oh yeah, no, we're actually looking for and something we really haven't had, and I don't, mm-hmm. I don't even know how long. But like mm-hmm. a, that Edelman type, that Wes Welker type, like that's like, what we're I looking think for. Around he Wilson. thrived. I think yeah. Roman would thrive in that, but that is very different than you know just come out here day one and have that type of detail in your game. It's a lot of detail in Julian Edelman and Wes Welker's route running in terms of how they could sit, settle, zone versus man, that relationship with that quarterback. It's yeah, a lot yeah. that went into that, Good man. Point. It's a lot. So that's the part when you're talking about a rookie coming into this situation, new quarterback here, new coordinator here. It's just a lot of moving pieces. That's all. Fair, 100%.